Hi! In this video I will show you the new MCTO2 features introduced with firmware 1.1. Firmware 1.1 brings a couple of new features. There's pattern recording from the keyboard or the arpeggiator. There's per step probability of gate and note modifiers. We have a built-in swing generator. There are shortcuts for quick channel, start and stop and there is a screen saver. The first thing after installing the firmware should be to go into the config menu to MISC, display and turn on the screen saver. You can set it to 30 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 5 minutes and 10 minutes. Doesn't really matter as long as you turn it on because um, turning it on will prevent screen burn. Let's just wait for 30 seconds and see how it looks like. There it is. Let's have a look at the recording feature. To enter recording setup, press play and edit at the same time. We are now in recording setup where we can select the pattern we want to record into by pressing the pattern buttons here. There are three recording modes. Overdub mode, where it overdubs the existing pattern. New mode, where it creates a new pattern with the same number of steps as the existing one and new mode 2, which lets you define the number of steps of the new pattern with these buttons here. Let's create a new pattern with 32 steps and we want to record into pattern D2. Now we just press enter. You see a little countdown and the recording starts. Once the recording has finished, it automatically goes into overdub mode and we can now edit or add notes. Even while the pattern is recording, we can just go into the editor and edit the pattern we just recorded or we are actually still recording. And we can now do modifications here if we want to. And pressing edit again, we'll go back to the recording and I can continue recording. Not only can we record from the keyboard, we can also record from the arpeggiator. If we have the arpeggiator active, like so, we just go into the recording setup again, and you will now notice that it is now ARP recording that we set up. We just do the same, create a new pattern, press enter, and we can now play the arpeggiator and will record the output of the, of the arpeggiator into the new pattern. Now once I release the keyboard, we just hear the recorded pattern and I can now do add-ons and modifications. We can also set up the recording while a pattern is playing. Now, I now have a pattern F1 playing and I just go into the recording setup to find that I want to record into pattern A2, press enter and only then when the countdown is finished the actual recording will start. Press play to go back onto the pattern we just recorded. And switch back to our previous pattern. Another nice feature is per step probability. Let's create a very simple pattern, just uh, four notes and play it.
if you now go into the editor, we can, can press shift and uh, port button here, and we are in the probability editor. Here we can set probabilities for various um, things, gates and the note modifiers, accent, filter accent, portamento and noise. Just move around here and we have four probability uh, levels. 100% is always on, 0% is always off and two intermediate levels which are here 66 and 33% but you can change that globally. If I now um, modify the gate probability of um, the first note in my pattern, for example, you can hear sometimes it's playing, sometimes it's not. The same goes for the, um, for the modifiers. Accent, filter accent, portamento and noise. And this is just on note 1, but of course you can do that on each note and thus create ever-evolving changing patterns. This is also possible for drums, of course. Another nice feature of the 1.1 firmware is the swing generator. No matter which clock you choose, internal or MIDI clock or din sync, you can always create some swing. The final feature I would like to show you is Quick Channel Start Stop. If you press uh, the tempo button you can now see a new overlay which shows you the state of the three channels, channel 1, channel 2 and the drum channel. So um, if I press play on the first channel for example, you can now see it's playing and um, while I'm in this menu I can use these three buttons to start and stop the three channels. So pressing down will stop channel 1, pressing start down again will start it and uh, for example if I want to start channel 3 I just press the up button here and will start and sync of course. Let's imagine I have an arpeggiator running on channel 2 which you can't hear right now but just imagine it then I can also start and stop the arpeggiator. Press the norm button, it will stop and it will start the arpeggiator again by pressing it again. <laughs> 